Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I thought I would share my February Pop Sugar must have box with you guys. Now I have to admit, I opened this already. It came on Valentine's Day um, and I opened it that day. It was kind of like a little Valentine present to myself, so I'm really excited about it. First up, my absolute favorite thing out of this box is this broke down wrap. And it's, you know, like a towel wrap for when you get out of the shower. Um, you can wrap yourself in it. And that's really, really nice. This uh, kind of print, it's like a fuzzy little dot print. This was on my son's changing table. I had a green cover like this for his changing table. And I used to love it so much. Um, I used to love changing him on there because I would run my hand along it and feel the little bumps. And we have not used it in like, I don't know, I guess probably six months. Um, but I, you know, I love this little fuzzy. It's cute. It's cute. Um, so loving that. Next is this book from Nicholas Sparks. It's called Safe Haven. And this movie, I think, came out on Valentine's Day. And um, I'm, I was excited to get this, although I already have the book. I have been reading it since the beginning of February. And I'm already, I want to say I'm on like the last six or seven chapters. Um, but it is a good book so far. Of course, you know, Nicholas Sparks books are always pretty decent. So um, it's really, really good. I will pass this along, though, to somebody, um, whether it's my sister or my sister-in-law's, um, but that's that. And it also has a little bookmark, and you can download a um, sound, a, like a song from, I think it's called The Journey, um, from the picture, from the movie. So, awesome book. It's a good, if you like Nicholas Sparks kind of romance stories, it's a good story. Um, so I'm, I'm really enjoying that and I was excited to see this in there even though I already have it. Um, and then next is these Mary Bell's Cocoa Nibs. They're cute little chocolate nibs. And a Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in the shade Crush, which is a little too dark for my liking, um, but I will pass it along. Um, to somebody who wears lipstick or lip colors that are that shade. I, you know, don't really have a preference when it comes to lip colors. This one is just not really what I would prefer in a lip stain, I guess you would say, but it is a really neat product. I've got it in several other colors and I like it a lot. Um, so really pretty. Then there was the Connoisseur's Quick Jewelry Cleanser, a quick beauty treatment for diamonds, gemstones, gold, and platinum jewelry. And this is exciting. It's got a little brush that goes with it. And I love this because I always keep silver cleaner on hand um, for, you know, items that I have around the house that I might need to shine up with some silver cleaner, whether it be simple, you know, pieces of jewelry. Um, I never, never, ever, ever clean my James Avery if you're a Texan, you know James Avery. Um, I never clean my James Avery jewelry with silver cleaner because there are parts of your James Avery that you want to be black and parts that you want to be shiny. So I always take like my charm bracelet and everything in and have it shined and cleaned up there instead of, you know, cleaning it myself because there's just, it's meant to look aged and worn in some areas and not in others. So I would never ever put that in silver cleaner, but I do have silver cleaner for, you know, silver platters or silverware, you know, forks, spoons, item place settings, stuff that you have that you um, don't necessarily use every day or maybe you display and you want to keep it looking nice. And I don't really even display my silver. It's pretty much just for when we have people over. Um, and so I have to clean it, you know, before I pull it out because it's been put away for so long. Um, anyhow, I keep that on hand for that. What I never have is uh, gold or platinum jewelry cleaner, which this is really nice because my Wedding ring and engagement ring are platinum and um, they have some diamonds in them and I usually take it in to the jewelry house we bought it from. We bought it from, we got our wedding sets from um, Zadix in Houston. Um, if you're like Galleria area, Zadix Jewelers, it's like a Houston institution place. Anyway, um, that's where we purchased it at and so I take it in once a year and have it, you know, checked the place setting, checked and everything and then just cleaned up. And it always looks so beautiful for about a week or two and then it's grimy again and if you have, you know, jewelry like that or an engagement ring or anything, you know that it gets grimy. Like the back gets like grime. I don't even know how. I don't even know how to explain it getting there. I'm guessing it's like soap residue or something, lotion, but it gets ugly. Um, and so this will help with that. My ring has little like hearts around the crown that holds the diamond up and it, it gets really dirty in there. So that is that. Um, and then lastly, this cute, this was surprising, this cute Hanky Panky pair of underwear. It is original si original thong one size. Thank you, baby. Um, pair of underwear. And it's this, look at this yellow color. It's like the brightest yellow I've ever seen. And it's a pair of underwear. Um, so I'll show you the top of it. 
but really pretty. It's, you know, like lace, and then it says hanky panky there. Um, really pretty color. It's just really bright. So that is my um, box this month. It was exciting. I, you know, was excited for several things in there. Really, really like them. I hope you guys had a wonderful Valentine's Day. I had a great day. It was really more about my kids this year than anything else um, because my daughter celebrated Valentine's Day at school for the first time, so it was so exciting for her. Um, but it was great. My husband. Um, got me a box of dark chocolates, Godiva dark chocolates, which I absolutely love. That is my favorite, favorite chocolate ever. I love dark chocolate and the Godiva ones are by far, I think, the greatest. So he got me a box of those and then he also, you can see my watch, um, got me my Polar heart rate monitor. So this is really neat. It helps to track calories that you're burning when you're working out as well as just your workouts so you know how well you're doing or how you're progressing or anything like that. So that is that um, and I'm really liking it. I'll do a re separate re review on it but it's pink and it's just right now I'm wearing it as a watch so it's got the time and the date and everything but that is that. I hope you guys had a wonderful Valentine's week and are having a great week so far. Now that my kids have joined me it's time for me to sign off. Um, I will have pictures of my pop sugar items posted on my blog as well as last month's box because I never posted that one so I will have those up on my blog shortly. If um, you don't already, I am on Instagram. I try to Instagram daily, so I'm always, you know, little tidbits of my life or my outfit of the day. If I don't do an outfit of the day on uh, my YouTube, I always do an outfit of the day on Instagram. So I'm there. I'm on my blog at it's the dash style chronicles dot blogspot dot com. All those links will be down below. Um, everything is linked to Twitter, so you can follow on Twitter and see the Instagram pictures and all that stuff too. Um, and then of course my YouTube channel. So hopefully I will resume filming more on um, YouTube than I have been shortly. I kind of, you know, been dealing with some stuff here. Um, as well, I've got a little sinus thing going on and, you know, just life. It's kind of been a little crazy since the beginning of the year. Um, so anyhow, I will talk to you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.